In video 3, we go over the tools and the view in ArtRage 3 Studio Pro. When you select Tools and select Tool, you'll get a listing of all the painting tools in ArtRage 3 Studio Pro. And to the right are the shortcut keys. It's a good idea to learn them if you can. And if you want to make a shortcut key, by all means do. I showed you how in a prior video. And under New Preset, this is another way to make a preset. Reset Current Tool, just click on it and it'll reset it. Now your layer options are all listed here. And I will be showing you this when we get to the Layers pod. The same with the stencil options and the tracing options. They'll all be shown in subsequent videos. Your reference options too. Your color options are all listed here. And we'll go into that when we get to the color wheel. And we'll get to this when we go to the samples pod. I did want to show you the user content. This is where you'll find it. You can open your user content folder by clicking here and it'll immediately take you to the resources folder with all the listings of all the different folders. Let's go out of here and if we go into view we're going to see the canvas positioner. I'm going to show it to you right now and this is totally awesome. Now yours might show a lime green since I changed the color, it's now a red for me. And if I click on the red part and move my cursor around, I'm rotating the canvas however I want it. This is particularly great for people who are right or left handed because you can get to the section you need to paint easily. You can click up here and put in that you want it to go to 0% and click OK and it goes right back. You can go to 270, 180, 90 and back up when you click on this to 0 and click OK. Now this is the zoom. If you click and drag it's going to zoom so if you go down it zooms down and if you make your cursor go up it zooms up. You can also click in here and tell it what you want it to zoom, like 100%, and click OK. Now with the Move tool, you can go to the right, the left, up, or down, and this will click you out of it. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to right click and bring it up. Now if we go into view again, you've got your canvas position. You can zoom it in, zoom it out, reset canvas scale, reset canvas rotation, reset canvas position, reset all canvas properties. And the shortcut key is of course right here. Now on the menu bar you see it's toggled. If I untoggle it, it collapses and I can bring it back and the tool picker of course is highlighted and the color picker, meaning it has a check mark by it so it shows up, otherwise they'll be collapsed. You've got the sticker sheet collection and if I click on it, it shows up. I'm going to go out. You have the stencil collection. It's of course got a shortcut key of F. If we click on it, it comes up. Let's go out. You've got the tool settings. And I had it off on my second monitor, so here it is. And click out, and it goes back down. Basically, all the view is, is letting you toggle on or off any of these things. Now, the tool picker, 
You've got the preset collection. Again, I had it off and I brought it in. And this is what for the oil brush are the presets. Now the layer panel will make it go open. Tracing panel will do the same, Re references panel the same. The color picker will go to, if I uncheck it, will go down. If I click it, it'll come back up. Now the sticker spray variants, if I click on that, there's no settings right now, so let's click out of it. View again. And Canvas settings. Now, Canvas settings, there are four different places for this. It's in the, when you open your new painting, when you're in Tools and Layers, here in View, and also in the Layers pod. You have four choices of going to the Canvas settings in Art Rage 3. Custom Color Picker Collection. You click on it. It'll bring up the different colors. You can add your own like I have here. And we'll get into that later. And we can reset all panel scales really easily. If you've changed any of them want to reset, you do this. Reset all panel rotations and clear canvas mode. And that's it for tools and view. We'll go into help next and the rest of the menu bar.